Would he or wouldn't he? For weeks, people had wondered if Arroyo Grande City Councilman Ed Arnold would show up at tonight's city council meeting, and they got their answer. He was a no-show. Here are the facts first. Arnold is facing serious charges stemming from an alleged relationship involving his wife and another woman. He was arrested back on December 16th on charges that include domestic violence and assault with a deadly weapon. KSBY news reporter Steve Adamson attended the meeting tonight, and he joins us live in the San Luis Obispo News Center. Steve. Hi, Tony. Well, there wasn't a large crowd on hand tonight at the city council meeting, but there were some folks there wondering if the city council itself would address the Arnold situation. Councilmember Fellows, here. Councilmember Arnold and Councilmember Costello are absent tonight. Arroyo Grande City Council members were aware that Councilman Ed Arnold wouldn't be in attendance at tonight's meeting. He had sent an email to the city manager saying that he wants to avoid all of the recent attention that's been focused on him. During the public comment section of the meeting, no one brought up Arnold, but outside of the meeting, some people did express an interest in hearing something from him. Well, we haven't heard anything from him, no word, about, no word at all. He could have said, well, I can't talk about my case now. I will come in the future and say something. Others weren't surprised at all by the council itself not addressing the controversy. Uh, not really. I'd heard in the wind that uh, they were just going to not bring it up and not say, make any comments on it earlier today. So I, it didn't surprise me at all. Indeed, we tried asking the mayor for comment regarding Arnold, and he said he wasn't going to comment any more about it until after the judicial procedure had run its course. Still, at some point before that happens, folks expect Arnold to return to the meetings. Well, I would hope so. I, from what I understand, that he can't miss more than three uh, meetings within 60 days, and then they can uh, you know, ask to be removed. But I would assume he'd try and be here at least one of those. Now, the policy, as we understand it, says that he can be removed if he misses all the city council meetings within a 60-day 60 60 day period. We're live in the newsroom tonight. Tony, back to you. All right. Thanks, Steve. And the next scheduled city council meeting is January 26th.